how you talk. Last time I talked, she told me why this is her line, so go. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to our channel. That's true, welcome back. I hope you had a great uh, Thanksgiving weekend. Today is Sunday, after staying home for three days and eating and eating and eating, right? Yes. So we're gonna cook another uh, very special, special dish today. It has a very special meaning to me, to my wife and to my daughters. So stay tuned until the end and you'll find out what's so special about it. Okay, so what we're gonna do today is cutleti, a ground, uh, how do you say this thing in English? Patties. Cutleti. It's like patties. No, mash, what do you call this? Meatballs. Cutlets, meatballs. Meatballs, 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 meatballs with meatballs. french fries okay, and meatballs. onions. What's caddy? Sounds like something, uh, <laughs> baby food. <laughs> paddy, <laughs> paddy. <laughs> okay, guys, let's start. We have a long day ahead of us. So let's start the delicious food and we're gonna take it step by step and show you how everything is done. And it's a special meaning. This food has a special meaning. So let's go. I'm gonna ground some uh, beef and approximately 30% of fat, regular beef fat. Now that I mashed the beef, now I'm gonna add, even though it had the 30% of uh, beef fat, I'm gonna put a little bit of lamb fat because I like that little taste of the lamb inside. All right, now inside this mixture, we're gonna put two onion, approximately this size. Now that I grounded the two onion, I'm gonna add it to the mixture together with the juice and with everything, okay? All right, now we're gonna add salt. And black pepper. Now we're gonna add dill to our mixture. Now we're gonna mix it. My mixture is ready. Now we're gonna make into meatballs and put them over here. So I'm gonna spray oil on this thing. This way it shouldn't get stuck. Okay, so you have to wet your hand. Okay, make sure your hand is nice and wet. Take the size that you wanna take. Okay. Very easy. That's my cutleti. Look how beautiful it looks. Now we're gonna start the fire and we're gonna start uh, frying the cutleti just to give them that beautiful golden color. Guys, just a little bit, maybe like less than a minute on both sides, just to get that nice color. Then we're gonna continue cooking them. Okay, we're gonna start the fire for our kazan. Now that we made a golden color for the, our katleti, now we're gonna chop onion. All right, now we're gonna put the pot and we're gonna start working on our katleti. And it's gonna be with all the recipe and everything else and it's gonna taste amazing. Wait for it. And get even more hungry when you see this food. Okay, I finished frying the cutleti just to make it a golden color. To be honest with you, my wife helped me. <laughs> this way you guys should think that she's also doing something. Trust me, she does. Okay, so I'm gonna take the oil that I fry, I fry the cutleti in and I'm gonna add into my kazan. That's it. Now maybe a drop more. That's it. My oil is hot. I'm gonna add the onion right now. Wow, it smells so good. Now we're gonna fry the onion for a little bit, okay? Looking good, smelling good, smell for me. Smells amazing. Oh, well, <laughs> let's go cut the tomatoes. Okay, so now we're gonna cut the tomatoes for little cubes. I forgot to mention. The amount of the meat that I have over there, the mesh meat that I grounded, is around four and a half pounds. With the approximately 30% fat ratio, and I put another 10% of uh, lamb fat, just to give that extra good taste for it. We chop the tomatoes. Now, right before we're gonna put the tomatoes, we're gonna put chopped garlic inside. So you cannot put the garlic together with the onion, because garlic cooks a lot faster than the onion. 
So now that the, the onion is almost ready, we're gonna add the garlic. And then after that, we're gonna add the tomatoes, okay? Now I'm gonna add the garlic right to the onion. Okay, so just make sure you watch the garlic because it's fried very, very fast. So let's mix it. Now we're gonna add the tomatoes on top of the onion and garlic. Now we're gonna add all our beautiful, beautiful cutletes. Look how pretty they look. Okay, inside our mixture. Oh, baby, look at this. And mix it slowly though. You don't wanna break the cutlete, okay? Look at this. We're gonna add one eight ounce tomato sauce. And salt. And we're gonna taste it also. So if it's missing, we're gonna add more. Okay? Black pepper. And I'm gonna put a drop, not too much, that's it, of uh, paprika. I have three cups of boiling water. Mix it all up. Okay, we're gonna cover it right now for uh, 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, I'm gonna add some more stuff in it. Uh, so let's go cut the pepper, the green pepper, and the red pepper, and the uh, cherry tomatoes, okay? So they cook usually fast. And this food has to be cooked for half an hour. So we're gonna wait 10 minutes. And the last 20 minutes, we're gonna add the tomatoes and the peppers and everything else. So we're gonna close it right now. And cherry tomatoes. Let's mix it one, one more time. Now I'm gonna add my red pepper, green pepper and cherry tomatoes. But don't mix them, leave them just like, like this on top. Now we're gonna leave them for approximately 20 minutes. Let's go and start the fire for french fries. Start our french fries, we're gonna cut them just like that together with the skin. Young potatoes taste amazing, just cut them for half if they're too big. A little salt, approximately by eye, black pepper, paprika. and garlic powder. Mix it all up. I'm gonna add some oil for the french fries. Now I'm gonna add my french fries. Oh baby, look at that. Now the french fries has to be on a high fire always, okay? Let's go. So I'm approximately thinking in about uh, 20 minutes, everything gonna be ready. We'll prepare the garlic and dill. So on top of the french fries, when it's ready. Okay, let's chop the dill. And all together. My potatoes are ready. Food is ready. Oh, Ooh. look at that. Hey, you wanna give a close shot? Show them how good this food thing looks like? So now, we're gonna plate the food and we'll see you in about a minute from now. Now we're gonna put our dill and garlic on top. Man, this food smells good. Look at this beauty. Mm -hmm. 
guys i am so hungry to taste this amazing amazing i want to say one more time amazing <laughs> looking food but i'm gonna let my wife go first okay okay i'm gonna take a little cutlet Ooh. patty <laughs> she calls this thing patty and i'm gonna take a little potato and i'm gonna take some pepper she's basically taking everything i'm gonna <laughs> get my perfect bite a little bit of everything i think i might copy her right now okay so potato cutlet and the pepper Ooh. Pepper. Have you pepper. have you ever have you ever feed your husband when you do this thing? I think I feed you I the last video. I know video. what that means. I think I feed you <laughs> last video. <laughs> Let him. me see the perfect bite that she was talking. About. <laughs> it's about time I ate first. <laughs> oh my god! Whoa. Really? Okay, now I can't wow. wait. Mm. I'm gonna take a little bit of the pepper. It's amazing the way she did the combination with the. the Pepper really? and potatoes. You know, you have the taste of the uh, cutlet, which is this amazing taste. Okay. And then the pepper. Mm. How does it taste? Right? Tastes good? Oh my God. Mm. It tastes amazing, guys. I'm going to go for one more potatoes. Wow. Wow. I'm going to share with my wife. Tastes really good. Take some pepper. Wow, oh, that's good. Can you let Pelina taste a little bit? <laughs> Pelina, you want the perfect bite? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> perfect bite. I'm gonna make you a perfect bite. Can I try red pepper? I didn't try red pepper. Yes. Okay, so pepper, potato, and the <laughs> Oh my god, it's so good, guys. You have to try this. It's amazing. The food tastes amazing. If you pay attention, my plate is still clean. I share with my wife the one cutlet that we took. I eat it, my wife eat it, and Polina eat it. And one of the reasons that we did this thing, don't forget today is still the weekend of uh, Thanksgiving. So we as a family want to do something the best we could for us is to cook something very, very delicious, extremely delicious. Go to the less fortunate people and uh, feed them with this delicious food. Okay, so what we're gonna do is right now we're gonna separate the food for as many as uh, plate, I guess, we yes. can do. Containers. Containers and drive to the city. We're gonna go and feed the people that might need it more than us. So thank you for being with us. If you pay attention, we did not do salute with you. We'll see you right after we finish giving it to them. delicious 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 food to those in need since the COVID-19 the people who live outside they don't have that option that they used to have long time ago when the restaurants was open and people was giving them food and they eat so a lot of restaurants are closed and a lot more people living these days on the street and a lot of them are very very hungry so we're trying to do our part the best we can to help and I hope it encourage you guys to do something if you can <laughs>
we finished giving out away all our delicious food for people in need. Made us feel extremely good. How did you feel? Amazing, amazing. Alina, did you feel good? It was so nice what we did today. It really, really warmed my heart. I hope we really inspired you to do something good this holiday season as well. Great to be with you. Hope to see you next time. Stay safe. Take care.